The two kinds of illness. The illnesses of human beings may be divided into two general categories, the first of which is illness of the body. Physical diseases comprise 101 disorders of the earth element, 101 imbalances of the water element, 101 disturbances of the fire element and 101 disharmonies of the wind element, a total of 404 maladies. These illnesses can be cured with the medicines prescribed by skilled physicians such as Jisui, Rusui, Javaka and Pian Shui. The second category is illness of the mind. These illnesses arise from the three poisons of greed, anger and stupidity and are of 84,000 kinds. Only a Buddha can cure them. Thus they are beyond the healing powers of the two Brahmin deities and the three ascetics, not to mention those of Shen Nung and Huang Ti. Illnesses of the mind differ greatly in severity. The three poisons and their 84,000 variations that afflict common mortals of the six paths can be treated by the Buddha of the Kusha, Jojitsu and Ritsu sects which derive from the Tripitaka teaching of Hinayana. However, if one tries to use the Hinayana teachings to cure the three poisons and 80,000 diseases that arise from slandering the Mahayana sutras such as the Kegan, Hanya and Danichi sutras, these illnesses will merely become worse and will never be cured. They can be treated only with the Mahayana teachings. Moreover, if one attempts to use the Kegan, Hanya and Danichi sutras or the Shingon and Sanran teachings to cure the three poisons and 80,000 diseases that arise when the practitioners of the various Mahayana sutras oppose the Lotus Sutra, those sicknesses will become all the more serious. To illustrate, the flames emitted by burning wood or coal can easily be extinguished by water, but a fire produced by burning oil will only burn more intensely, the flames mounting still higher, if one pours water over it. The epidemics which have been raging in Japan since last year cannot be categorized within the 404 illnesses of the body. Therefore, they are beyond the healing powers of Wa To and Pian Chue. Nor do they correspond to any of the 84,000 diseases which can be treated with the Hinayana or provisional Mahayana teachings. For this reason, the prayers offered by the priests of the sects based on these teachings not only fail to end the epidemics, but rather aggravate them all the more. Even if the epidemics should subside this year, they will surely break out again in years to come. Probably they will come to an end only after something dreadful has happened. The Lotus Sutra says, if they pursue the way of medicine and treat illness according to prescription, they will only produce further complications, or perhaps even cause death. Their illness will grow more acute. The Nirvana Sutra states, at that time King Ahatashatru of Rajagriya, Dot and boils broke out over his entire body, the king said. These boils have a spiritual cause and do not arise form a disharmony of the four elements. Even if people say that there is a physician who can cure them, that could not possibly be. Miaolo says, wise men can see omens and what they foretell, as snakes know the way of snakes. The present epidemics are like the virulent boils of King Ahatashatru, which could not be cured by anyone other than the Buddha. They can be eradicated only by the Lotus Sutra. I, Nichiren, developed diarrhea on the 30th day of the 12th month of last year, and, up until the 3rd or 4th day of the 6th month of this year, it grew more frequent by the day and more severe by the month. Just when I was thinking that it must be my immutable karma, to die at this time, you sent me excellent medicine. Since taking it, my complaint has diminished steadily and is now a mere fraction of its former intensity. I wonder if the Lord Buddha Shakyamuni might have entered your body to help me, or perhaps the Bodhisattvas of the earth have bestowed upon me the good medicine of Myoho Renge Kyo. Chikugo Bo will explain all this to you in more detail. Postscript. Your messenger arrived around the hour of the dog, 7 o'clock to 9 p.m., on the 25th day of this month. The things you have sent me are beyond counting. Please convey my appreciation to Lord Toki for his offering of a summer robe. Also please tell your wife how saddened I am at the passing of her grandfather. With my deep respect, Nichiren the 26th day of the 6th month. Background. Nichiren Daishonin wrote this letter from Mount Minobu to Shio Kingo in Kamakura on June 26, 1278, when he was 57. Shio Kingo was a devout follower of the Daishonin and a samurai who served the Emma family, a branch of the Hojo clan. He was well versed in both the practice of medicine and the martial arts. 
This letter conveys the Daishonin's appreciation for the medicine that Shio Kingo had prescribed and sent to him, along with other offerings. Its content closely resembles that of another Gosho, The Treatment of Illness, written to Toki Janin on the same date. The opening passage, in fact, is virtually identical to one appearing in The Treatment of Illness. The Daishonin's life at Minobu was by no means easy. Winters were bitterly cold, and his shelter was inadequate. Food was another problem. Following the custom of Buddhist monks in those days, the Daishonin abstained from eating fish and meat, and the food provided by his disciples and believers did not provide all the nutrition he needed. In addition, for nearly the entire first half of 1278, he suffered from debilitating and chronic diarrhea. He says in a letter addressed to Shio Kingo in October 1278, I, Nichiren, am not as healthy as others, and in addition, I dwell in this remote mountain forest. This year was especially difficult, with widespread epidemics and famine in spring and summer, which worsened in autumn and winter. My sickness grew worse again, too, but you prescribed various medicines and sent them to me along with quilted silk clothes. Thanks to your remedies, I improved steadily. I have now recovered and feel much better than before. The Major Writings of Nichiren Daishonin, Volume 1, page 225. In this letter, Nichiren Daishonin refers to two kinds of illness. Illness of the body, which arises primarily from physical causes, and illness of the mind, which arises from delusion and earthly desire. He explains that illness of the body can be cured by sufficiently skilled physicians but illness of the mind cannot. Only Buddhism provides a remedy for such disorders. He also attributes the epidemics then ravaging Japan to slander of the Lotus Sutra. Neither Hinayana nor provisional Mahayana teachings will be able to stem them, he says. Faith in the Lotus Sutra alone will eradicate the people's slander and remove their suffering.